Hello everybody. I'm back in GTA 5. Again, I haven't played in a while, I've been busy, but you know, so is everybody. I am on the last heist, which is down here. The big one, as they call it. The Union Depository. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just trying to do the Mackenzie Field hangar uh, drug gun smuggling missions. So, I'll do those and then um, we can go do a big heist. Trevor! T! Hey, 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 T, you there? Do you just sit on that radio all day? I just got a tip off. The Salvadorians found out about a drop we're getting near the docks. You gotta get there. Quick, T, or we're gonna lose the package. Oh, when are these clowns gonna get the message? I, I always forget that I can drive when I talk in. So I'm gonna fail this one. No, no, I failed this one. So hard. Oh my god, if those motherfuckers! They gotta pay for that, man! them dealt with permanently oh, thank fuck for that that was pretty intense wasn't it Pretty simple that one, pretty easy. If you know, what I hate about this, this, these missions is that I can la I can deliver all four perfectly fine, or whatever, and then I land and I fuck up. And oh god, it's annoying. Because you have to restart the entire mission again. Come on, don't crash this time. Cargo received. Right. Money in the bank, man. Can you turn it around? Can you turn it around? Yes, you can. Lovely. Uh, next drop is that one there. Stay low. Yeah. After I've uh, after I've done this these little drug, uh, not drug, gun smuggling missions I was going to do the uh, Union Depository. I've played this game before on uh, Xbox 360 but I decided if I can on PC one all the mods will come up eventually. Also I can choose all the other options I didn't choose in the first time I played through. Some of them have been better, some of them have been worse. Package delivered. Excellent. There's only one more to do. I'm a much better flyer than I am driver, and I crashed immediately, so I want to say I'm not that good. 
terrified me for a second, I thought I was going to smack into something. Right then, onto the Union Depository. Hey, I let me y'all peace. Persona! It was satire or parody or something! I didn't mean it! Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me! Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Front, okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um... That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Me! <laughs> Jokes that aren't funny. No, 
You don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its own. Enough! All right? Eat <laughs> fucking up. I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times. Great times. The fucking fun you have. Hey, T, I'm about to hit that train. Can you get to the chopper, Lester, set up? Yeah, sure thing. I'll call you from the helipad. All right, holler at me on the headset. Right quite a jump. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the car is out, T. I'm switching the track. Good work. I'm on the way to the airfield. Hey, the track's swift, so it's going to divert. Such intense concentration at this point. I never like picking stuff up with the helicopters.
much better flyer than I am driver. Hopefully, I don't fuck this up. Going in, going in, going in, going in. He only drops the package. And that's a successful. Now he fucks it up straight away. Damn it! <laughs> it was a successful drop. It was not a successful fucking flight, though, was it? Jesus. No one noticing the helicopter just flying overhead with the train parts. It's like, oh my god! Didn't even see it in the dark. Oh. 